does have his arguments. Horror Storm is available. Oh, crit jumps in, doesn't find anybody though. Neatly getting silenced up. Neatly's gonna get taken down. The first capsule fight from the back once. Mirror's going down to Sable like straight away. And Sable like trying to look for more here as RTZ pops the ultimate, bashes down into Lol. He's getting control of the lead. So that's Mirror here. Mirror's gonna be in there. Top of RTZ silenced up and pushed away by Arbet. Arbet trying to keep him alive here and may have just done it. Staying upon him and now uses him to sunder and stole the weapon. It's not gonna be enough. He's surrounded by Team Spirit heroes. RTZ will fall and now Sable it's going down as well. Team Spirit, they just Playing stayed. To them coming to the high ground. Uh, maybe it is. Yeah, jumps in. They find Law. He's going to be the target. Will collapse immediately, getting on the Martizzi and stopping that damage coming through. Do they have enough? No, they do not. The cheese is there from Law. He's going to heal him right the way up again. He's just going to run himself away. He think he is gone from him, sure. But collapse is continuously running at Artizzi in this fight, not letting him stand his ground whatsoever. Sableite, he's going to be left behind and just taken down by a billion spears. As collapse finds another, collapses onto Fly. Our bed all alone all of a sudden. Uh, no, Wind Waker, see you later. The punch is there for the BKB. The Dallas Post in the area as well. And Fly, he's gone. No egg able to come down. Terrible, he's stuck in the air. He does get off from Sunder. But what do we think? Gonna be a make. He's just being beaten by Sable. Like, Sable, like, you're not even going to be able to stand up and fight. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, like, you're just going to be beaten by Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just going to be beaten by Sable. Like, you're just GG's probably in the chat line right now, not well, quite in position if you wanted to, yeah. Uh, opted to go for the shorter range charge. Just had to be quick about it, but yeah, ultimately ended up costing him and they go into Earth Spirit here. He does have the Blade Nail, so it's gonna hurt them. They need to get this one done quick, and it does look like they're gonna be able to bring him down. And Maposhka once again just firing out the impetus is obliterating crit. He needs to run right now because he does not have the health to keep this one going. Arteezy nowhere near in the neighborhood as well. There is no chance. Shopfire taking this one, and they will leave Fly for dead. It is now. Lalo going to pop everything, give them all the vision they need to start this one off. And once again, they're looking towards RTZ, collapses on him once again, just like game one. Staying on top of the CK, but they've got a beautiful jump in the back lines. Your supports are just gone. Double buyback from them straight off the bat. Your Torres taking hits as well. Lalo just jumping around the fight. They're waiting for their supports to come back into this engagement. So Shopify, they will give them the space. They'll back themselves away and wave their resources to recover. Toro did die though, he did get picked off and actually Sableye, he's just back in on the post game. He wants to find the big target. The rest of the team, they're rallying around him, jumping in. They've managed to catch out Lala as well. Lala's stunned Silas for the time being, but the follow-up stun is not there. They see RTZ here, he's done down once he again. He doesn't find the on top of his bash, comes down, RTZ is dead, no buyback. They need to find a way to make this fight work for Dana, but I'm not sure it's possible. Sure, the Enchantress is getting low, but the Sintel's dead as well. A look all towards Crit, Crit is basically gone already. And once again, it's very far it's easy here, don't forget. No flyback available on him. They charge through once again. Collapse. He is taking damage here, but they managed to get the connection on to RTZ. Damn it, though. It's not really massive, and now they're refreshing a Taurus. The one kind of losing. Oh my god, the post from the sidelines. RTZ is gone. Team Spirit, they get the carry. Can they do it without him? They take it down crit as well. Collapse trying to fight up with our bed here, but post from the sidelines just blasting out the impetus. It's low with the ultra kill. Moving on to Sableye. Sableye trying to do what he can, but there's nothing left in the tank. Centaur's gonna they have jump. quite good defenses. Mira, though. Mira's gonna have to go use the Pierce the Veil, try to survive as no one sees far on the side of the river, but a nice air splinter coming into play. Can they finish off Mira? Not gonna be able to quite do a micro. Very far forward now as Yatharo chases after him. He's just gonna continue to toggle. They find the whole collapse. Good positioning from the centaur. We'll ensure they get themselves a double kill. Side stepping over onto Afu. They want this kill. They want a little bit more blood. The tag team triple kill now for Yatharo. As Maposhka, he's I in the cent, uh, rather, it's not the center, he's I this enchantress. As uh, they want a little bit more blood, and it's just an old. Saw Summer Cape doing God's work right now against this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice little play here from mid one, and now they're outnumbered. Especially when Mind Control jumps back in Sayatharo. He's trying to finish off, just do enough damage before he dies. Does have the reincarnation. He's going to join up here with Kalef. The toggles are real. Stop over onto mid one. Do they have the first? Can they finish him off in time? Yes, they can. As again, the toggles coming out from this man, chasing after no one. There we go. They'll block him from being able to roll away. Sunstrike's not going to be able to quite connect, but there it is. There's the double kill. Mind Control throwing out that Wrath of Nature open. Maybe, maybe he'll toggle a little bit funny. Uses that mind. It's very, very important. <laughs> Uh, you have to make sure you do that, boys and girls. But he's not going to be able to teleport out. No way in heck.
I mean, so this is... The sun up into the air. The meatballs get dropped. The buyback, though, coming out from mid one. He wants to be back in the spike. Like, there's going to get used. Collapse taking a lot of damage, but this dead shot coming into play. Oh. He's got the Lotus. They've got it. What they get? Oh, He's my God. Again. It's a dieback. They get themselves mid one. They get themselves the Elder Titan. Now they're chasing after mind control. He cannot hope to escape. This is looking like the end. Ramsey's BKB, he's just gonna chase after while this is going on. Solo will end up falling on the back lines. Taris, they're gonna, oh, they finish it off. It's a triple kill for Yathro. Nira very aggressively blinks forward over onto Kiyotaka. The charge coming out from a collapse. He's secure, but doesn't go right into the <laughs> Solo ends up dying. The meatball gets dropped. Kiyotaka, Miera, they are just ripped apart. The buybacks come out. That is not looking good. Yeah, they call GG. Team Spirit showing up here in this game number two, and they take the whole gosh darn thing. And he wants the rampage. Give him the rampage. Him the rampage. Oh. No. So she's a little, bit, a little bit ready to set up for herself here. And, uh... Bottom. Meanwhile, SMG wasting no time with Aegis, the pushing. Global Silence is going to get used as they're putting the pressure down over on Office. There's no Elder Titan here to save him. They need to use Dust or something. They don't have the vision. All right, there we go here. Mira following up. Should be able to burst down no one, and he's toast. So now it looks like the rest of SMG needs to get out of here really, really fast. They do still have the Aegis on bid one. So oh, they're is that the going for them. Collapse, he's on the hunt. He still has the split. Oh my god, they split slap through this Phoenix. BKB gets used. They've got their attention over onto mind control. They'll finish them off. Laurel so very, very low. Somehow still alive, although he ticks down to the fire spirits. Collapse on the hunt as mid one over here. They're kind of just waiting their time. They're like, okay, he has an Aegis. Not the biggest deal. We could try to disperse him now as they take down Mind Control's creep. Yatro kind of hiding around the back line. Collapse still hunting for the Phoenix. Another dagger over to mid one. A little bit off the mark, but the stone does land. They're trying to use the heal. It is going to be the Aegis that ends up. Comes Laurel. He sees this Phoenix. That's going to be his first target. Goes, pops him in place. Next coming up. Go. They drop the splitter. Oh my god, the damage from Yadros just shreds apart the other time, but the war coming out from Mind Control will slow him down. So calling mid one. He wants to finish off Yadros. He's sitting so very low, but he uses the BKB. The jump in from Laurel has to be careful, though. That dive bomb does slow them down quite a bit. Collapse joining in here with the Cinder. They need a little bit more damage. Can they finish off the Beastmaster? Yes, they can. And oh, now mid one, guys. This is very, very scary from me. Oh my god, they rip them apart and somehow spot. But again, okay, there is the global silence. Laurel, he smells blood and Water. He sees no one. He rips them apart. Finds himself someone else. A big crit coming up from out there. We'll be able to finish off mind control. As the tower goes down, Laurel sitting a little bit low. The eggs have already been used, though. They can easily go right back in and finish off these racks. Look at Laurel. He's ready for round two. He's got Yathro. He's got himself that double damage. He's got an Aegis. Things are spooky. Mid one. You cannot stand toe to toe to this right now. No way in heck. Mira gets the snipe with a dead shot. Well, Laurel, though, is, it might get left behind a little bit. Does have the cheese. Off the side, no one was in the tree line. He just gets murdered. Oh, my <laughs> God. The damage from Yadro. The GG gets called. First game goes over to the side of Team Spirit. He got the actual one dagger and I'm die experience there by the 1800 damage crit from PA. That is the Man, worst. 
Packs out onto the punch. Punch didn't get off the flashy beater, so he's not that tanky, but they do get off the dismember onto the Bristol pack in the back line. Kazomi and Thorland, but they will get collapsed. Gabby once again finding the play, finding the call. Il Toro, though, he's coming forward. But this time he's got a shield wound to help him out as well. It is running out kind of soon, though. Maybe, just maybe, Gabby can find the entry once again. Can he pull it off? Oh, he's actually going to make the call on Samira. I'm not sure about this one, my guy. He's now going to get beaten on down. BKB yeah, now. No, he's not going to make it back to the fountain. Down goes the axe. 124 seconds. Storm Stormer. He's going to get X back in. And he's gone as well. And that shit. against the village. Not against the visit at all, and that's going to be a pot going down here as well. Yatoro, he's turning up to him, though, wants to try and make a fight. Oh, the overgrowth. I mean, it's a great overgrowth coming down three of them. Just hugging oh each other. Bouncing Glaze going to work. Oh, my goodness. They've taken a step too far, and Team Spirit, they've punished them heavily.